Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do a short video share of my candy pecans. I got an awesome recipe on YouTube. I will link the channel or the video um, that I follow below. It's very, very easy. I made it last year and I gave it away as last minute Christmas gifts. But this year I'm going to package them to make them uh, for my um, craft fair that I've been talking about. Well, my bake sale craft fair that I've been talking about. It is tomorrow at work. And so I just wanted to come and show you um, my pan. I have one more pan like this in the oven right now. It takes an hour to um, bake and you have to keep um, stirring it to get all the wet ingredients dry and for the the cinnamon and the sugar to stick on it. It is not some, I love this, but it's not something I can sit here and eat the whole thing because lots and lots of sugar. Okay, so here I got these containers from Daiso and they came in a packaging like this. It comes five of these mini um, containers. It's microwavable. And what's good about it is that the lids are transparent so you could see what's in it. So here's a covered one. So I'm going to make a label and put the label on it because we're supposed to label it. I'm going to put the ingredients in it and price it. I'm not too sure how much I'll sell this for. Maybe $3 because nuts are kind of expensive. So I went to um, Sam's Club and I bought these pecan halves. That's how it looks like. It's a two pound bag. So the recipe is for a one pound of pecans but because it's two pounds I doubled my recipe and it's just perfect for my pan it allows me to spread it out nicely and um, spread it out nicely so it's easier to cook bake evenly okay so here is my scale that I'm using um, what I do is I put it on the ounces I tear it and then I fill it. So I'm going to do a four ounce per container. Okay. So I'm just filling it up like this and then I add it until I get to four ounces and then I stop. Okay, so I think with one of these two pound bags, looks like I can make about 10 containers. So that's pretty good. Um, I want to make it exact because, you know, one pecan is like 0.1. And so I might be short on my last one, so I don't want to overdo the boxes. I hope I'm in frame because I'm not even watching what I'm doing. So I am going to make um, pecans for Christmas. And I'm not sure how to package them. I did buy these food safe um, cone, cone shaped bags. It's like how you buy nuts when you're at an um, event or carnival or something like that. But... I have to figure that out because if I pre-make them, I don't want it to get um, stale because in Hawaii, the humidity is very high, so let me find the scissors. So with the humidity being so high, I don't want it to get soggy. So it looks like I can make more than 10 of these containers. Trying not to grab all the excess sugar on the bottom. I just want the nuts. I think I'm getting towards the end. So I'm going to use my tongs and 
pick it up. I don't think I can make another one. So I made, I was able to get out of this two pound bag, I was able to get uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So about eleven and a half. Yeah, so it's just about three ounces. So I am short. Okay, so I am going to wait until my next batch is made, ready. And then I am going to cover them all. Then I'm going to label them. And if you follow me over Instagram, um, I might take a picture and post it there what I've made and how the packaging looks. I. Oh, I made about four pans of energy bars yesterday, so I it yielded me about 32 bags, and I packed them. I packed them um, five in a bag, and I'm gonna sell it for three dollars. And then my friend, I just came back from went to her house, and she offered to make me some. It's called um. Blonde brownies or holly brownies, and it's a famous recipe from Kamehameha Schools in Hawaii. And so I gotta cut these up and bag them. And she also and she makes these from scratch. And then she also made me a tray of regular brownies, just the brown brownies. So I have to cut that up too. So thank you, Sharon. She always helps me out whenever I need help. She is my BFF all around here. Okay, so that's it, everyone. Um, thank you for coming for my little share of my pe candy pecans. I will link the recipe, the YouTube that I follow down below, and I will see you again really soon. Okay, bye-bye.